Hey everyone, happy new year. I thought that maybe since it's like the first month of the new year is already almost half over that maybe I should actually film a tutorial. But I just feel like I filmed so many things at the end of December that I was just like, I need to give my YouTube channel a break. Although I am thankful I grew, I think 12 subscribers. So I mean, that's basically like 12 videos, 12 people. So that was encouraging. So I was like, maybe if you actually posted more often, you more people would see your channel stuff. Okay, who cares? Nobody cares about this. But anyway, so thank you to all those who are new subscribers. I do appreciate it. And it's, it's always exciting to see. Oh my gosh, I got one new subscriber. My channel is growing slowly, but surely. And it's okay, because um, I am thankful for just one person that watches. I'm like, thank you. Um, but anyways, yeah, so this is the makeup look that you guys are going to be doing. I actually am not doing the face makeup or anything like that. It is strictly just on this eye look. This is actually a requested tutorial, and I thought I should probably actually film it. And I thought it was actually really pretty, and it's perfect, I feel like, for going into those, like, um, February, Valentine's Day makeup looks. I thought it was, like, perfect because especially the fact I already had a pink lip on. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so such a dainty Valentine's Day kind of date night romantic look. And why I keep playing with my hair because I just need to do something with it. I just clipped my bangs out of my face. It's just a lion's mane. I think I'm going to go put blonde back in my hair because I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just... <laughs> such a loser like why did I just say I just I don't know 500 times but this intro is so past beyond stupid we're just gonna wrap this up and get into the toot okay so this Bye. is take two of me attempting to film me what I'm doing when I started applying I would like totally turn to my mirror and was like not even paying attention what was happening I was not focused to see if you guys could see until I looked up and realized, like, wow, you are not even, like, remotely close to the camera. So I'm going to move you guys forward. Don't get scared. It's just my face. <laughs> I'm so annoying. So anyways, I'm using Popcorn Strand from my Tarte palette, and it's just a really pale shade. And I was just using this to set all the conceal because I concealed my eyelids as usual to prime them. Um... But I'm going to focus a lot of this just on the inner part of the eyelids because I really want to get a like kind of a white base on the lid. But normally when I do a smoky eye, I tend to kind of give it almost the cat eye look. This is going to be more of like a what I would call like um, a princess eye look where it's just going to be really rounded. Um, which I think is really pretty. Um, so it's not like smoked out like cat eyed at all. It's just really round and it's, it's still smoked out on the outer parts of the, the eyes, but not cat eyed. Okay, how many times can I say that with, <laughs> you get it. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take this shade right here out of the Maybelline Charcoal Smokes palette. And I'm going to... Just take this Real Techniques tapered br 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 brush, I was going to say blush, who cares what I was going to say, and I'm going to just take that and keep it really tight in the crease right here, like on the inner part of the eye. I'm just using this to kind of build up what I'm going to be doing. I have such horrible posture. I'm so sore because ever since I started at InShape, I've been working out again consistently. Okay, consistently. I've been there four days. <laughs> what a loser. Um, anyways, and I am so sore because I had not been working out consistently at all. Or let's just say I haven't been working out at all. And, um, oh my gosh. I just like got so sore and instead of going like easing my way back into it I definitely just jumped right back into my workouts like I never stopped which was is really not a good idea like you should definitely ease your way back into it because now I feel like I can't move 
So anyways, as I worked this, that shade into this inner corner, I'm just keeping it really tight, but I'm really shaping the, the, the roundness to the eye. And that's just the, the shape that I'm starting out with. So I, and I do recommend like, obviously I, but just in case, like just take hardly any product when you're working with dark shades and then, um, you can always build it up as you go. But if you start out and pack a bunch on your brush and then go, it's going to be harder to blend out. And like, it's just easier to work with less and build it up. So I'm just rounding, making sure I'm keeping it round and not just winging it out like normal. I'm really sloppy. So just, yeah, keep it really, really round. Okay. So once that we have blended this in, I just looked directly into the light and I feel blinded for a quick second. Anyways, it, it, it's got a little bit of a mauveish undertone. So um, that is kind of what shade I chose to use to be like built in because we are working with black. Um, as I start to, before I go in with the black, I am going to place some on this outer part of my eyelid just on the outer V, but you definitely like from the, that V because like obviously our eye shape like comes to more of that like cat eye, um, just be sure to round it out. Like as you apply some to the lid. So next what I'm going to be doing is taking the black shade in that same palette and I'm just going to use the same brush. This Real Techniques, I'm looking at the picture again. Yeah, the Real Techniques tapered brush and I'm just going to tap some of that shade on the brush and definitely when I'm working with black I tap any excess off. And then I'm just going to be in, I'm kind of patting this in as opposed to just going straight in and rubbing because um, black is just black. And so I want it to um, really just not get out of hand and keep that under control. So when working with this black shade, now I'm really going to be keeping it really tight in here because I am going to be bringing it all the way into the inner corner. But the inner corner part is not going to be as blended as that first shade I used. It is going to be very, very tight. So that is the key to this look. But by keeping it, like I'm putting the black shade and I'm using the tip now of the brush to dab some on. That way I can just get it in that crease. And it, by putting your eye like this, you can see obviously where the lid and the crease is. So that's why I do that just so I can see. Because if you're totally shut, it's like you could get it too low, you could get it too high. But doing it this way, I can see perfectly where my crease is at. Just a little tip in case you didn't know. And then I am just going to take the flat side of the brush, tap some, and begin to lay that and press that onto the outer V of the eye. And then now just really on this outer part, this is the smokier part of the eye look, just make sure to really blend it and keep that roundness to the eye look. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to be doing, and I will show you guys a picture of the eye look that was requested for me to recreate. It's this right here. Um, I don't know if my brightness is going to affect 
how it shows up on camera. It looks really bright. Maybe I need to dim it. Anyways, this look right here it sucks my lighting. I, I don't know how to adjust it. But anyways, it's just really dark black on the outside. It comes in real tight lined right in here. It does look like in this inner part she has a little bit of a mauve. That's why I use that. Um, and then on the lid, it's it's a white, but it almost looks like it has a, a little bit of a silver look to it. Now the silver that I have, I feel like it might be too like silver, so I'm hesitant to use it. So I'm going to try it because it's the closest shade I have, I think, to to achieve that, that inner corner part. Um, but because all my other shades I think are just gonna be too white. But I think I might start with white first. None of that was important. I was kind of just telling you my thoughts out loud. So that's a cool story. So next I am just gonna be taking um, a brush. This is just one of my old ones I've had for a long time. I think this is, oh, this is a Mary Kay brush. But anyway, um, I'm going to be taking out of my Violet Voss Pro Palette, the shade Crystal right here so you can see the color. It's got a white with like a little bit of a shimmer because this eye look does look like it has, no, it looks pretty matte, but it's okay. <laughs> so actually what I'll do to get that matteness, I will mix it with Thanks A Latte. So I'm mixing Crystal and Thanks A Latte together. And then I am just going to be placing that right there on the inner part of the eyelid. And I did just kind of tap it on at first as opposed to just because if there is any fallout, I don't want it to get all over this black part that we just worked so hard on not being messy with. So that is why I'm doing that. Just kind of pat it on. And I am taking it up into I don't know what this part of the eye is called. Whatever. <laughs> okay. So now that we have achieved kind of the base of the look. Oh, I am just going to take those same two shades and use that to highlight the brow bone. Okay. So to fill in the bottom lashes, I am just going to take this little guy that comes in like the cheap little palettes and I am just going to take up that mauve shade that I used and those white shades actually worked perfect. I don't think I'm going to go in with this silver at all. Um, and I'm just going to put that tight underneath my lash lower lash line. I'm going to bring it all the way over. And as you're doing your lower lash line, it is still important not to take it out, but to just continue to kind of round out the eye and follow the same shape that we've been working so hard to achieve up, up top. And I brought this down way, way too low, but it's okay. I'll just bring this one down a little lower. All right, and then I'm just gonna take the other side of this and take it in with the black. And that is what I'm going to be using to finish out smoking that lower lash line. Try not to jab yourself in the eye. And of course, making crazy faces 
always helps the makeup to go on even better. So if you just made a normal face, your makeup wouldn't look good. I'm just kidding. It's like I focused so hard and trying to just keep this dang mouth shut, but I feel it slowly just starting to Anyway, nobody cares. All right, so now that we've smoked out the lower lashes, we are just going to coat our eyelashes with mascara and then I am going to pop some false lashes on just to complete this look um, to give the, to complete the look, okay? That's just what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I was having some technical difficulties with my stupid lashes. I grabbed a new pair, like fresh, and so I was trying to bend them and shape them and anything. Anyways, you guys didn't even see that part, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, yeah, this is the final look. I do think that it is pretty darn close to the picture, so I'm actually really happy about that. So I really do like this look. I think it looks really pretty with actually the pink lip that I already had on. You could wear this with a red lip. You could wear this with a nude lip. You know, I like my nudes. Um, but yeah, I think that it's a really pretty date night look, especially, like I said, with Valentine's Day coming up and everything. It's, to me, a really pretty date night option. So um, and it doesn't even have to be for Valentine's Day. It could be any date night. But anyway, yeah, I hope that you guys thought it was easy. I tried to use drugstore um, eyeshadows. I don't think I used anything except for... My tart, I did set everything with that, but I mean, that's easy. Find something, just a neutral shade, just to kind of set your concealer, primer, whatever. Um, but yeah, just, I used the Maybelline Charcoal, Charcoal Smokes palette. I just used two shades, I think, to achieve it. And then, um, oh, I did go into my Violet Voss and mix these two shades right here to achieve that. But again, you can find something at the drugstore that is going to get those looks. So yeah, happy new year, you guys. I don't, this is my first tutorial of 2017. I can't believe next year is gonna make 10 years since I've graduated high school. I'm officially old. But anyways, I will be back soon with more looks and options for Valentine's Day. All right, I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I would really appreciate that if you haven't. And also give it a thumbs up if you found this look pretty and are going to try it as well. All right. Bye.